Hey y'all, this is Randy. As you can tell, it's a nice, bright, beautiful day here in sunny Oregon. And I'm getting ready to head out for my third walk for the day. Yes, you heard me right, my third walk. And um, I do this all day long. And I just managed to take my son and drop him off at a play date and went to the grocery store and did my grocery shopping for the week. So, as you can tell, I've already had a very busy morning. I start walking at 6.30 in the morning and I don't stop until late at night, around 9, 9.30. I didn't stop last night until I think 9.40. Very dedicated to my walking. And you know, I was thinking about it last night and I thought, what could I call my subscribers? They're not just friends. They're not just people that want to be motivated or inspired. What would I call them? And I came up with Randy's Walking Warriors. So what do you think? Let me know what you think down in the comments. It's going to get loud here for a few minutes. I'm actually going to walk to a quieter part of my block. But until then, I'm going to have some traffic. So I apologize in advance for the traffic noise in the background. I'm hoping to be able to get me some new earbuds that will block out background noise such as traffic. And hopefully I'll have those soon. I just have to find the right ones that do the right fit because I have very funny ears. I don't know if you can tell, but my ears are like odd shaped or at least I think they're odd shaped but that's just me. So what I wanted to talk about today is self wellness and taking care of yourself. And what sparked this conversation is I had a long conversation with my sister-in-law yesterday who would like to start walking, but she doesn't feel like she has the time. Now, my sister-in-law is a great and wonderful lady. Love her to death, absolutely love her to death. And she is an in-home healthcare provider. She has several clients. Plus she takes care of my mother-in-law who has a lot of health issues herself. And she just doesn't take care of herself like she should. My sister-in-law, not my mother-in-law. My mother-in-law has too many health care issues and she's trying her best to take care of herself but my sister-in-law just doesn't take care of herself like she should and I told her no matter what you can always find time to go out and walk I said if I can do this you can do this if I can crawl my painful butt out of bed then you can definitely find time during the day to go for a walk whether it be early in the morning as soon as you get up or at night before you go to bed get a treadmill do whatever join a gym maybe see I'm fortunate enough that the apartment complex that we live at has a gym on site so I can actually, during the winter, go in there and use the treadmill and the stair climber and any other equipment that is available in there. So, like this last winter, we had a really bad ice storm and you couldn't walk anywhere without slipping and falling on your high knee. So it was pretty bad. But I told her, you can find time to go out and walk anywhere. Now, my sister-in-law has, just in the last couple of years, she lost her husband and she's still grieving, but she didn't take time to grieve properly. And I worry about her, and I told her this yesterday, that I worry about her quite a bit. And I told her, you know, if, the best thing about walking is you got to do 
a lot of self-reflection when you're out walking. You can think about what's going on in your life. You can meditate. You can listen to podcasts to help with your self-esteem or podcasts to help with your self-image or there's a podcast for everything, let's face it. And I told her, you know, I love listening to Dr. Phil and I love listening to different true crime podcasts. And I said, plus I get to do a lot of self-reflection. Like, I'll sit there and I'll think, how could I have changed that situation? Or how could I have handled that better? And she's just, she's like, yeah, I guess you're right. Yeah, I do need to take care of myself better. And I said, and you know, you don't have to like get dressed up to go walking. A lot of the times, like this morning, before I had to take my son off to his play date, I was actually dressed in my pajamas out walking. That's what I do. I'll just get straight up. I'll take my daily medications and I'll walk right out the door. Pull my hair back in a ponytail because the wind keeps blowing it in my face and it drives me nuts. And I'll walk right out the door. And she's like, yeah, I could definitely try to do that. So, I don't know. Maybe I just created another Randy's Walking Warriors. Who knows? And again, I'm not really sure about the name, so let me know in the comment box what you think about Walking Warriors, because if you guys don't like it, I can always try to come up with something else. And here goes the big truck. So, what kinds of things do you people think about when you go walking, if you're already walking? Let me know in the comment bar below. Do you think about self-reflection? Do you listen to podcasts? What are your favorite podcasts? What are some of your interests that you like to listen to? Maybe I can help you find a podcast that would suit your needs or suit what you like to do. Um, but let's take a minute to talk about, we've talked about self-awareness or, yeah, let's take a minute to talk, talk about mental health. You know, walking releases endorphins that actually boost your mood level and that actually makes you feel better. It's true. Check it out walking, running, any kind of exercise, really. And how great is that? You could be down in the dumps or having a hard time and you could just go for a walk and start to slowly feel better. I know that when I get sad or depressed, I like to go for a walk just to do some self-reflection, to do some meditation. And the endorphins help boost my self-esteem, or not self-esteem, my um, mood level. So, I don't know about you all, but I do suffer from a mental illness, but I'm not really going to get into that right now. But... Walking has really helped me with that. And it's actually made me feel better about myself. I mean, to go from a size 30 to a size 16, how could you not feel better about yourself? And I don't want this to turn into a YouTube channel about me constantly bragging about myself but I want more interaction from my viewers and I want you guys to know that you can do it too. You could totally go from a size 20 to a size 14 or 
if you're a size 30, you could definitely go down to a size 16 as well. You could do this too. It's, it's not easy. I'm not going to lie. It gets monotonous sometimes. And sometimes you just wake up in the morning and you're like, I don't want to walk today. And trust me, I have had those days where I have just woken up and been like, I do not want to do this today. But then I think about on my pedometer app, it's got badges you can earn. And I think about, but I really want to earn that badge of walking 90 days in a row or 180 days in a row. And I have, I've earned my 90 days in a row badge and I was so proud of myself. I just recently earned my badge for walking 1 million steps. Yep, you heard me right. 1 million steps. Do you know what kind of an accomplishment that is? I just earned that badge um, July 6th, I believe it was. And I haven't always hit my goal of 10,000 steps every day. There was one day where I I think I mentioned this yesterday. I was stuck on a Greyhound bus for eight hours coming back from Yakima from visiting family and friends. And um, I only got like 4,411 steps or something like that in. And I was pretty bummed. I'm not going to lie. I was like, I can't believe I only got 4,000 steps. I really wanted to do better, but there was nothing I could do, obviously. I don't think the bus driver would have appreciated me walking up and down the aisle all day long while he drove. He was kind of cranky anyways because it was so hot. But 1 million steps. You can do this too. You can challenge yourself. Just go on the Apple Store, or if you have an Android phone, go on your Android Store and search pedometers. And the one I have had a little blue box with a little guy walking in the middle of the little blue box. And you can change to different colors, so I changed it to pink. And I was able to earn, I think I've earned out of like 70 badges, I think I've already earned like 22. It's pretty amazing. I'm very proud of myself. And once you guys start getting into the, into the, um, what's the word I'm looking for? brain fart in the groove of things there we go you'll be able to earn stuff too and you'll feel so much better about yourself can you imagine waking up in the morning you don't want to do anything but you force yourself to get up and you decide that you're gonna go out walking and at the end of the day, you look at your pedometer app, pull up your badges and found out you earned 1 million steps. It's a great feeling. It really is. You feel so accomplished. So I have, I'm on this road that I don't normally walk on, but it's got our movie theater. I don't know if you can see it in the background. It's a huge theater. And it's got reclining leather seats and it's air conditioned and it's just amazing. And we've only been to it like three times. I wanna go to the movie so bad. There's a movie called Joe Bell that I just really wanna go see. But I don't know if it's going to come out in the theater or not. Um, so 
so I saw that I have three subscribers so far, which makes me feel really good. Keep it up. Share with your friends. I'd really like to get more subscribers. I'd really like to have this go somewhere. I'd really like to be not YouTube famous. I'm not doing it for the fame. I'm doing it for the motivational and inspirational aspects of it. I really really want to be there for people I have a heart of gold my husband says you know you wear your heart on your sleeve and it makes it easy for people to hurt you and he's right I do but hey somebody's got to be a person with the heart of gold right not everybody in this world can just be snarky and bad and not want to have anything to do with anybody so just going off topic here I wanted to talk about yesterday I shared that I am a true lover of true crime and I watched a YouTube video by Kendall Ray. Snaps out to Kendall Ray again. She's like one of my favorites. Side note, always stay hydrated. And it was the video of Kendall Ray with a panel of family members of victims of true crime. And they shared that they don't like seeing the bad comments because people see true crime blogs or podcasts or TV shows as being entertainment, whereas they're living it. And I thought, you know, I never really thought of it that way. These people are living this horrible thing that's happened in their family and we're just watching it for entertainment purposes and I never really thought of it that way and they were totally right. And I know that I said yesterday that I might talk about true crime in a couple of my episodes. So if I do, in the description, I will put who I'm talking about, obviously. So, if I do talk about true crime, and they search the name, and it pops up with me, then please, be cautious and be wary of any negative comments that you share or say because they could be watching and they could be reading the comments and that's really going to hurt them. I'm not doing it for the entertainment aspect. I would be doing it for the awareness. So, also... If you have any negative comments about me, say them. I don't care. I've got a very strong armor on. If you think that something looks bad on me, or if you think that my camera angles are off, or anything, I don't care what it is. Whatever you think that you might say that's negative, go ahead and say it. Negative criticism is actually learning criticism for me so just please any comments any comments at all would help me out greatly but i need to get off of here my phone actually is going to die of course filming videos takes up a lot of battery power so <clears throat> i will see you tomorrow which will be Tuesday the 13th. And until then, get your butt out there walking. 
become a Randy walking warrior and I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out and have a great day and stay safe.